Hi everyone, it's Lydia and today I'm going to be doing a what I eat in a day as a college student. I'm currently walking back to my dorm from class. I just had an intro to film. I also realized I'm wearing the wrong school on my head, but that is because my boyfriend goes to Northwestern. I recently went to visit him and yeah, I just thought I would start this outside today because it's a nice, beautiful day. A um, little chilly, but very, very nice. I like this weather. I'll show you guys what I'm gonna eat today, starting from, well, I don't really eat breakfast because I sleep. Breakfast is a good meal. Maybe, maybe I should eat it. I don't know, whatever. Look, they are currently building the bonfire. This is a Dartmouth tradition. There's always a bonfire, the night of homecoming, and the freshmen build a bonfire, actually. I did not participate. I kind of regret not doing that. I should have. They're gonna like light that up and everything this weekend. Actually, tonight. It's Friday. So that'll be fun. Okay, we're back. I'm gonna take this off because we're indoors. I had class today at 10.10, which is pretty early for me. I go to bed really late and I told my parents. And usually I do not eat breakfast because I'm usually asleep until around lunchtime unless I have class. A little disclaimer, this video isn't like telling you what you should eat. I'm just showing you what I do eat. Breakfast is an important meal. I get told this all the time, but I don't feel hungry in the morning and I like my sleep. So I usually just go to class or go to do whatever I need to do. Um, and then I eat when I'm hungry. So typically that ends up being around lunchtime and yeah, I don't get my breakfast meal, but anyway. I'm a freshman in college, so I don't know what other schools do, but I feel like a lot of schools have this plan where they give the freshmen the unlimited plan. Well, they don't give, you have to pay a lot of money for it. But for Dartmouth, that doesn't necessarily mean you get everything unlimited all the time. There's one main food hall called FOCO, or it's the, I think it's a class of, it's either 83 or 53, I don't even know. Um, commons uh, but everyone calls it foco and that one you do get unlimited and you can enter at any time when it's open and get as much food as you want there are other little like food things on campus that you can also buy you can exchange a meal swipe for money um so like dinner is the most expensive it's ten dollars and then lunch is six like, seven something and breakfast and late night is like 5 25 or something like that so you can exchange that monetary value to buy something at the shop like the coffee shop or um, some of the other dining options on campus so anyway sometimes when i go to my morning class i grab a like a pot of like overnight oats which i buy using my late night swipe the night before but i typically don't plan ahead that well so i think i've only done that twice i'm going to show a picture right here of what it is I like the blueberry one and I like the coffee one. I do not like the banana maple syrup one. I have not tried the chocolate one. Anyway, we're getting derailed. We're gonna skip to lunch now. I guess it'd be considered breakfast, but um, after 11 o'clock, it is the lunch period. So my breakfast swipe is gone. I can't use it anymore, but I can use my lunch swipe starting from 11 till 4 p.m. I plan on going to Novak, which is Kind of like they serve Starbucks, it's like the coffee shop on campus, I guess. I typically get a sandwich and a drink and talking about this is actually making me really hungry. <laughs> so I am gonna go do that and I will show you what I get. This is the outfit. Thanks. A lot of the leaves fell already. Oh my gosh, that was such a pretty tree like a week ago. This is so sad. So I just got a sandwich and a drink and I used my lunch swipe, but I also had to use like five or six dollars in dining dollars to get this. We get 250 dining dollars a time with the meal plan. Uh, I still have a bit left that I'm trying to use up by the end of the term because, I mean, it does roll over, but I can just use it. I got a apple and brie sandwich and a matcha tea latte. Looks pretty yummy. Always slaps. I actually got the apple brie yesterday, so I know exactly how it tastes. It tastes really good. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. 
I'm gonna go to the CS section area building and do some studying before class. It's my favorite street on campus. Tuck Mall is what it's called. It's just got pretty buildings and trees, so. Rachel got some boba from the campus shop and she didn't want to finish it so this is added to my meal today. Man it is bright outside today. Or rather I decided to film at this ungodly hour when the sun is literally piercing through my eyeballs. Anyway, today is, sorry, I'm just adjusting. Today is homecoming and yesterday was the bonfire and I will now insert some clips of the bonfire. Um, it was like 35 feet tall, I think. In the past, it's been a lot taller, but they started to put some regulations on it because if it's taller, then the circle that people can enter is larger. And it used to be so that people couldn't even go on the green, which is like the main field um, in the center of campus. And so they had to make it smaller so people could actually go on the green. Otherwise, people are just super far away. Anyway, it's a tradition for the freshmen to walk around the fire and for the upperclassmen and sophomores to like heckle at them and tell them to touch the fire. It was pretty fun. I got some pictures with my friends and um, we just hung out for the rest of the night, watched some movies. I did not film dinner. Um, I was in a bit of a rush actually, but I did take a picture of it and I can talk you through what I had for dinner. I had this chicken thing that had some like stuffing thing in it. I think it was like chicken Kiev situation. Not totally sure. Really sorry about the coach behind that. It's pretty loud, but it'll pass in a few seconds. So I had this chicken thing. I had these potatoes that they always have. They're really yummy. I had this pumpkin squash situation. There was also a chili station today. I think they're trying to make FOCO look nicer for the alums who were coming for homecoming this weekend, which is what they usually do when people come, like parents weekend or orientation week or alum visiting days. It was pretty good. But, you know, not spectacular, it's just the food hall. But I will say that I think our food hall is a lot better than some of my other friends who are in different colleges. Even though everyone on campus complains about it nonstop, I do think that we have pretty good food options as a whole compared to everybody else. Um, I don't exactly remember what else is on that plate, but I will tell you that I stocked up kind of on snacks afterwards. Here's a little clip of me being super tired and telling you about some of the snacks that we have in our room. So my roommate's parents got us a ton of like Asian snacks and peanuts, sunflower seeds. And we just have a pretty big snack drawer going. It just accumulates, you know, there's a lot of free food. Um, and when I say free, I mean it comes with the tuition, I guess. Besides stuff that comes from events, um, we also have a late night swipe, which I think I mentioned before. I sometimes get overnight oats from that. Usually I get there and I grab some kind of snack and I just put it in the snack drawer. Or I grab a drink and I put it in the fridge, which by the way, did not come with a room. We had to get one and we split it. It was like $200 from Target or something. Very fun night tonight. We just did a movie night. We watched the Joker or Joker and the bonfire was really cool. I'm pretty tired, so. I'm gonna go to bed. Good night. That was pretty much 
what I eat in a day as a college student here at Dartmouth. Pretty simple. I honestly don't know if this was a good video at all. I just wanted to get something out there and I'm trying to think of more creative things to do, but it's tough and I have a problem set doing Monday. So, you know, we'll just go with it. Do let me know if you have any suggestions on what you would like me to do, whether it's Dartmouth related or college related or just personal in general. I am in a long distance relationship right now. So if you'd want to hear something about that or maybe just being homesick or anything to do with anything that's relevant to me really, I'm happy to talk about. I hope everyone is doing well and I'll catch you guys next time.